Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm trying one of these banquet mega sandwiches. Uh, this one is the steak and cheddar. You get two in the pack. Uh, I'm gonna only get one of them, but you get two of them. So it's cheddar cheese sauce with beef surrounded by a savory crust. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a, a bun or something, a stuffed bun. Uh, 410 calories, 19 grams of protein is what it says in the front. Made in the USA since 1953. Uh, this is a 10 ounce or 283 grams. So I don't know if that's, I'll see if that's for one or two. Uh, we bought these at Meyer. They were $3.99. You get two sandwiches, so $2 a piece. I don't, I don't think that's too awful bad. So let's see. Um, two servings per container. One sandwich is 141 grams, so it's half of it. So it's a five ounce sandwich. Um, 410 calories per sandwich, or if you eat both sandwiches, it's 830. So that's kind of cool. And there's the uh, other information for you. And cooking directions. Let's see, you can do this in a conventional oven if you want to. There it is. If you want, not in a toaster oven, just a conventional oven. So microwave directions. We're going to remove the sandwich from the carton, open one end of the wrapper to vent, place it in the microwave. I'll probably put it on a paper plate too, just to be able to move it easily. Um, microwave on high for one minute and 45 seconds and let it sit for two minutes before serving. Um, handle care, it's hot. Okay. Let's see, if this is a little full tab here. Yeah, here it is. It looks like the size of a donut. That's literally the size of a glazed donut. Um, it's got a dent in the middle like a donut. It's not a hole, but it's got a dent in it. It's about the thickness of a donut. So if you think about a donut, that's the same size as a donut. And there's two of them in there. There's the other one in the box. So I'm going to get this on a paper plate, vent one end of it, and microwave it, and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is on the microwave, and you can see it leaked. Um, the stuff squirted out the side, and it's actually on the paper plate. So a good thing I put a paper plate underneath there. I would have... Uh, had to have cleaned up the microwave some, and there's a lot of, there's not a lot, but there's some liquid on the top. So it's gonna set for a minute anyway. Um, it's supposed to sit for two, it's probably been a minute. Um, so anyway, it's gonna sit for another minute anyway. We'll see what it looks like when it um, when it gets done, but I'll let you know. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna let it cool off for a bit. Okay, it should be cooled off enough to try. Um, we'll see, I'll cut it in half just so I could be able to show you what it looks like inside, and it would cool off a bit more. Um, the bread feels uh, kind of chewy, like a, almost like a bagel. Uh, bread or almost like a bagel <laughs> bagel bread just bread that bread has a has a little chewiness like a bagel honestly um i don't think it is a bagel but it kind of has that chewiness or um a slightly underdone like um, garlic bread. That's kind of kind of the texture you get. The um, the flavors are okay. There's a little bit of a, a, a more spice than I was expecting in it. Not like burn your mouth really spicy, but there is more than I was expecting. I like the flavor of the steak. I like the cheese sauce. It has like a like I said a little spice. Like a little pepper, like um, like green peppers, and maybe some like a paprika or something. There's something in there that's a little spicy. This is good. I wish. Um, I think if you did it in the oven, the the bread would get a little crisper. Of course, um, it would crisp up the the top of the bread a little bit, or maybe just the bottom a little bit. I think it'd be better if you did them in the oven. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. I, I'm not going to try it in the oven, so I don't know. But um, if it was just a little crisper on the outside, I think I would like it better. But um, Flavor, texture-wise, it's okay. It's just like a very soft bagel uh, without the, the coating on the outside of the bagel, like the crust. Uh, but the flavors are good. The um, the steak, it's it's not a, a really meaty flavor. It's more of like you get that peppery spice flavor, uh, the peppery flavor, and then you get the cheese sauce flavor more than anything. Um, the steak flavor is, is more mild. And I actually think you taste the bread a lot, too. Um, the bread has a very strong flavor. Like I said, almost like a garlic bread. Um, I don't know. This one, it's better than like average, but it's not as good as like something you have all the time. I'm going to give it a three and a half. It's better than, better than average. It's, it's a good flavor. Um, like I said, the, the outside, I wish it was a little bit crisper, but I think if you put it in the oven, it may crisp up a little bit. In the microwave, it's fine. 
Um, I'd rather have like a biscuit flavor or something like that if I'm gonna microwave a sandwich or a, a bun. Um, this is good flavor, it's just a little softer than I would like. Anyway, um, yeah, I think flavor is okay, texture is okay, above average, three and a half, I think it's safe. Not quite a four. So, um, so yeah, if you get these in your area, you wanna, you wanna try them out, I think you're safe to try them out. Um, they don't cost that much and you get two of them. So if you wanted to have them on two separate days or really wanted to just um, eat a lot more, um, you could have both of them at lunch too if you wanted to. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.